All right, it's 12 o'clock. Let's get going. Quick warm up, and then we're going to head right on into all the good stuff. So we're going to start right here with some alternating single leg good mornings. So hands behind our head, our toes pointed up, hinge, and right back up, and alternate. Hinge, and right back up. Shifting side to side. You've got it. Sit right back into those hips. Kettlebell for swings and then a pair of dumbbells and a mat. Cool. We're just in our warm up, so you're good. Keep moving through. We're going to take it down to our mats and we're going to go into alternating single leg V ups. All right, let's drop it down. One leg at a time, all the way up and all the way back down, stretching it out as you go. Make sure you lower all the way back down. Stretch out that core, stretch out those arms. We have about 10 more seconds here. We're gonna take this into a glute bridge with that overhead reach in three, two, one. Plant those feet flat, hips come up, arms go overhead. Arms come to your knees, hips go down. Really press up through those heels. Lift those hips all the way up. Nice tight core. Press all the way up to the sky. Few more and we're gonna flip it over to that runner's lunge. We're gonna do an open and a reach. Three, two, and one, flip it over. We're gonna bring right foot to right hand and open. Make sure when you put that right foot down or that left foot down too, that you aren't on your toes. Get it as close to that hand as possible. Flat foot, don't get up higher just cause you're on your toes. Keep on moving through, stretching it out. We're gonna inchworm ourselves back up in three, two, and one. Walk it up, all the way up overhead and right into jumping jacks. Right here, full range of motion. If you're just hopping on, you need a kettlebell and a pair of dumbbells. That's it. We're gonna take these jumping jacks to butt kickers. In three, two, one, right here. Use those arms, pick up the pace. We're warming it all the way up and start your watches if you haven't already. 20 seconds here. From here, we're gonna go into squat thrust light, burpee, no push up. We all know what that is. 10 more seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, chest up. Five, four, three. Two, one, squat for a slight. Feet come out, feet come up. Clap at the top. Remember, stick that landing. Land flat on those heels. Good, good, good. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. In three, two, and one. Whew. All right, round one, strength with a little cardio break in between. So you're gonna need a kettlebell for all of round one. We're gonna do 45 seconds of work, 15 second break, twice through. So the moves are kettlebell goblet squat. Your kettlebell's held right up here at your chest. Squat and all the way back up, powering through those heels. We're then gonna drop it down to our mats. We're gonna have that kettlebell on our lap. We're gonna do that glute bridge. If you have something at home you can put your feet on, you can do these elevated. That really elevates things, literally. Then we're gonna hop it up and do a kettlebell swing. Then back to the top for goblet squats. Again, twice through, try to stay in the move the whole 45 seconds, knowing you get that 15 second break. All right, 
it's strength. Challenge yourself with that heavy weight. We're going with goblet squats. Three, two, one. Hold it up at your chest. Power through those heels. Good. Squeeze those legs, squeeze that booty at the top. Keep that chest up. Good, good, good. Wiggle those toes. You should not be on them at all. Everything's coming through the heels. Over halfway. We are burning out these legs and then we'll move on. You got it, 10 seconds left and we're dropping it down to our mat. Final five, three, two, and one. Put that weight down, you have that 15 second transition. Shake out those legs and drop it down. That kettlebell is now on those hips, still powering through those heels. Let's go. 45 seconds, up and squeeze. Give yourself a little booty squeeze right at the top. Lower controlled. You control the weight, the weight's not controlling your movement. Don't let it weigh you down and push you to the floor. You bring it down. Squeeze at the top. Wiggle those toes. We're gonna hold the last 15 seconds. Up and hold. Hold it up. Higher. Squeeze those booties. Stay up, stay up. Stay in it. Don't drop. And time. Woo. Pop it up. Kettlebell swings are next. That same kettlebell. You've got it, you've got it. You have five seconds left. Get those legs ready. It's a lower body movement. Let's go. You got it right up to those shoulders. Always remember if you're at home and you can go heavier with a kettlebell that you just don't have, you can go into single arm and just transfer it. Or if you have one dumbbell that's heavier, you can always do that. Nice tight core, focus on the moon. We have 15 seconds left, stay in it. We're gonna do that whole routine once more. Five seconds, good. And time. Put that weight down for a second, shake it out. One more time through, squat, glute bridge and swings. We're going in three seconds. Grab that weight, let's do it. Power through those heels. Yes, squeeze that booty. Be intentional. Make sure that when you're squatting, your knees aren't coming together. Keep your knees behind your toes, right in alignment with your ankle over halfway. Last time with these squats. Good job, you have 15 seconds left. Get a couple more in. Good, six seconds, that's it. We got this. And time. Kettlebell can go to the ground, same with us. Drop it down. That weight's gonna go back on our lap. Five seconds until go time. All right, let's do it. Last time. We had one practice round. This is for the gold. Up and squeeze, lower slowly. Control it. You have less than 15 seconds until we hold at the top. Final five, get ready to hold. Hold it up, hips up, squeeze that booty, wiggle your toes. You got it, we're almost there, stay in it. Higher, squeeze that butt. Five seconds, higher. Three, two, one, Woo. Yeah, everybody up. 
We got swings last time. You have five seconds in three, two, one. Let's do it. Finish strong. Good job, good job, yes. You are still having that weight in your heels. Try not to let that kettlebell bring you up to your toes. Nice tight core, over halfway. This is it after this, no more of these. 15 seconds, you got it, hang in there. Final 10. Oh man, five seconds, keep it up. Three, don't stop, because I'm going down in that count. Time, Woo. all right. I wore my Buck Furpees shirt just for this workout because we have little breaks built in, Furpee breaks. So we're doing 30 minutes, 30 minutes, oh gosh, 30 seconds of burpees before we move on to upper body. So dig deep. We're doing burpees, all burpees, all the way down, all the way up, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna lie and say that this is the last time we're doing these. So practice, make perfect, halfway. Good job, good job. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Final five. In three, two, and one. Woo. All right. Moving to upper body, which those of us that were here yesterday morning, this is gonna be killer. All right, push-ups. Your level, standard push-up. Crab toe touches. That's the second move. In this move, things to remember. One, your hands, fingertips pointing towards your toes. Lifting up those hips, options. You can do these little dips, but try to do this toe touch. Alternate. Try to stay in that move the entire time. Then we're gonna flip it over. You have that weight. You are gonna pull it opposite side. Perfect plank. Take up the weight, set it on the other side of your mat. Shift over, set it to the other side. Don't swivel your hips. We're not dancing, we're planking. All right, push-ups are first. Find yourselves there, get ready. Three, two, one. This is it, 45 seconds. There we go. Keep it up, keep it up. Your knees are totally fine. However, if you can challenge yourself, pop yourself up to those toes, even if you just get one in, try it. 15 seconds left, pick a number, get to it. You've got it, 10 seconds. Stay with me, you have five seconds left. We do get that break and time. Woo, take it back into child's pose. Stretch it out, whatever you need. In 10 seconds, we're going to those crab toe touches. Remember, fingertips are towards your toes. Hips up, let's do it. Right here, you got it. Tap those toes. If this starts to be too much, you can always take it down a notch and just do these little dips. But remember, fingertips are still towards your booty, towards your feet. You got it, we only have 15 seconds left. Good job, good job. It's not about speed, be intentional. Five seconds, keep those hips off the ground. And time, whoo, plank pass. Burning out upper body, just like we did lower. Remember opposite hand pulls that weight to the other side. 
You have five seconds. Let's go. Perfect plank. Stabilize yourself. Grab that weight. Option to be on your knee. The wider that your feet are out in that plank, the more stability it's gonna give you. The closer they are, the harder it's gonna be. Find what works, but still challenges you. You've got it. Play with the move a little bit, find your stability, and then go outside your comfort zone just a tad, little by little. You have 10 seconds left. Nice work, five seconds. And time. Woo! All right. One more time through each of those moves. We're going back to those push ups. You have five seconds, stretch it out, get yourselves ready. Again, if you were on your knees the whole time last time, just try one on your toes. So, down and up. Last time with these push ups. 30 seconds left, that's it. Keep that core tight. Also remember, don't look down underneath you. Your gaze is just above those fingertips or straight down. There is nothing to see behind you. You have less than 15 seconds to go. Even if you just get one or two in, finish up, you got five seconds. And Time. Woo. Crab toe touches. Last time. We got this. We're going to do it. It's going to be amazing. Get yourselves ready. Up and at them. Let's do it. Check your hands. Make sure they're pointed towards your toes. If you need a little bit more difference, you can adjust them a little bit, but mostly they're in that awkward position. Your triceps should be burning. Nice work. Nice and stable, yes. You are already over halfway. We're so close, ladies. We're putting these behind us. You have less than 15 seconds to go. Stay with me. Last 10, come on. Stay in it. Final five, don't drop those hips. And time. Whew. We ready? Plank pass. We got this. This is nothing compared to what we just did. Get yourself set up. Find that dumbbell. We're going up into that plank position. Right now, let's do it. Set it to the other side. Slow and controlled. It's not about how many times you can get it side to side. It is simply about stabilizing that core, building that strength to move it. You've got it, you've got it. Well over halfway, stay in it. You've got it. Try to stay up, 15 seconds to go, that's it. Final 10, come on, power through. Five seconds left. Stay in it, stay in it. And time. Whew. All right. We got another burpee break. That's exciting, right? All right, everybody up. Let's do it. 30 seconds of burpees. We know the drill. Go. Remember, after this, back to some strength moves. We're moving into core next. Good job, good job. Halfway. Stay in it less than 10 seconds. Come on. Five seconds. You can get a couple more in. And time. Whew. High five. That was amazing. All right. Next move. Cobbler sit-ups with a punch. So you need your dumbbells and a kettlebell. This is how this looks. Get all my stuff that's rolled everywhere. Cobbler sit up. Your feet are together. All awkwardly. 
perfectly together. Option to make sure that your feet stay together. Pick up that kettlebell, put it on your feet. That'll keep them together. You are gonna go back with those weights all the way back, not using the weights, using your core. You're gonna come back up, punch, punch, right back down. Again, don't let those weights help you. They're there to keep you from coming up. You power through and bring them up. After that, drop the weights. Keep that kettlebell close by. We're doing in out crunches around the kettlebell. So option for these, plant your hands, knees to chest, straight. Knees back to chest, other side of the kettlebell. Straighten your legs each and every time. The challenge is to keep those heels off the ground the entire 45 seconds. From there, tabletop crunch. Legs are in that tabletop position. Grab that weight, put it on top of those legs. Don't bring your legs down. Keep those heels up, little crunches right here. Keeping that perfect L the entire time. That's it, three moves, twice through. All right, starting with those cobbler sit-ups, we're going in three, two, one. Let's do it, 45 seconds. Again, it's easy when you're holding a weight to allow yourself to have that weight help give you momentum going up or down. Don't let that happen. Use that core, strengthen it up. You got it, you got it. Nice solid punches. Up, punch, punch, seated punches and right back down. You do not have to have that kettlebell on your feet. It's just there to make sure you're pressing them together. Five seconds left, ladies, come on. And time. Woo, drop those weights. Set that kettlebell up. We're going to those in out crunches. Remember, straight leg, chest to straight leg. On the right side, bring them back in, go to the left. Let's do it. Up, out, up, out. Little swivel. Keep those heels up the entire time. Nice tight core. You got it, 30 seconds left. If you need a break, stretch it out, lean right back into it. You've got it, you've got it. Stay in it, stay in it. Over halfway, come on. 15 seconds, we got this. Good job, good job. 10 seconds to go. Stay with it, five seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, next move. That's that tabletop crunch. You just need that one weight. You don't have to have a weight. It's just for added challenge if you want it. We're going three, two, one. Set it up there. Tabletop position, little crunches. You're not just bending your chin to your chest. We're bringing our core up. Shoulder blades off the ground just slightly. Sometimes it helps to make a little diamond and press it towards the ceiling. It keeps you from pulling on your neck. You got it, you got it over halfway. Make sure those heels are up. As you get fatigued, those heels are gonna start to sag towards your butt. Put them up, tabletop. I'm guilty of the same thing. We got it, five seconds. And time. Woo, burning out that core. All right, 10 seconds, we're back to those cobblers. Grab that kettlebell, put it on your feet if you so desire, and go. Remember, last time, this is two out of two. Stay in it. Good job, good job. Nice, solid punches. Nice tight core as you punch out over halfway. Again, it's not about speed. It's about intentional 
Movements. Good, good, good. Five seconds. One or two more. You can do it. And time. Whew. Set that kettlebell up. Last time. In out crunches. We got this. 45 seconds. Heels are up the whole time. Let's go. Good, good, good. Try to bring those knees all the way to your chest and then straighten all the way out. Swivel to the other side. You got it. We are halfway. Keep those heels up. You can do it, I promise. You'll feel so good. 15 seconds. Final 10. Stay with me. Five seconds left. You got it. And time. Woo, those are killer. All right, back to tabletop. Last time, grab that one weight. Put it up on your legs. In three, two, one, little crunches. You got it. Shoulder blades come up slightly. Make sure those heels are up. You got it. You got it. Stay with me. Well over halfway. You got 10 seconds left. Come on. Little crunches. Final five. Three, two, and one. Woo. Drop that weight. We got burpees again. Let's do it. 30 seconds. We're wasting no time. We're going in three, two, one. 30 seconds. Give it to me. Come on. Go, go, go. Fix that landing. Find that flat foot. Halfway. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Three, two, and one. Woo! We're not done. We got a little more. We got a little Tabata. Two moves, twice through. Lateral high knees with a stick. You only need one kettle or one dumbbell if you want to hold it for this move. Now, we're going lateral. So, um, dumbbell on your chest. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. All right? 20 seconds. After that, drop that weight. Fast feet to dead girl. When I yell dead girl, you hit the deck right back up to fast feet. We ready? We got it. Now, Tabata, for that 20 seconds, you're going all out. Give it everything you have. We're going in three, two, one. Lateral high knees. Grip that weight. Stick. One, two, three, four, six. You got it. Hold that weight tight. Work those arms. Little hold. Good job, good job. And time. Whew. Fast feet are next. Shake out those legs. We're going in three seconds. Everything's going to jiggle. Go up on those toes. Dead girl, bring it down. Right back up. Right back into it. Faster. Dead girl. Go, go, go. Dead girl. And time. Whew. One more time through. Back to those lateral high knees. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, six. Good, good, good. Side to side. Hold that weight tight. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Three seconds. Keep it going. And time. All right. 
fast feet to dead girl. We're going three, two, one, right here. Dead girl. Right back up. Come on, come on. We have one more Tabata after this. Dead girl. Faster, dead girl. Three, two, one. Woo. Two new moves, twice through. Then we're done. All right, broad jump. Two of them, one, two, back pedal. Back to the top, one, two. Second move, four running man, one frogger. Right here, one, two, three, four, frogger. Back down, one, two, all right? Just those two, four running man, one to one, frogger, back down. But first we broad jump, three, two, one. Two of them, land soft. The minute you get done with those two, you're already running back. Over halfway. Five seconds. Keep going. And time. All right. Drop it down. Four running man, one frogger. We're going right now. One, two, three, four. Frogger. You got it. Remember with Frogger, stick that landing. You don't stand all the way up. Stay low, little frogs. And time. Once more through, we're going broad jumps in three, two, one, go. One, two, back pedal. Good, good, good. We're halfway. You got it, you got it. Keep going. And time. Last one. Four running man, one frogger. Drop it down and go. Find your rhythm. Keep it up, keep it up. Yes, you're over halfway. Keep on going. One, two, three, four, Frogger. One, two, three, four, Frogger. And time. All right, last 30 seconds. We got burpees. We gotta finish. We gotta do four rounds. That's the rules. All right, I can't break the rules. 30 seconds, last 30 seconds of class. Burpees in three. Two, one, all out. You know this is the end. You can do it. It's like when you run across the finish line. Come on, 20 seconds to go. Keep going, over halfway. Final 10. Five seconds, come on. Three, don't stop. Two, one. Woo. Nice job. Slow your breathing. Step side to side. That was amazing. Nice work. Woo. Side to side. There you go. Bring our right arm across our body. Keep those legs moving. We'll do little ankle. Rolls on the right. And open up, switch. Ankle rolls on the left. Good job, good job. All right, sweeping good mornings. Legs out really wide. Big old stretch overhead. Hinge, nice and slow, sweep the ground. All the way back up. Little back bend and all the way back down. Nice job. This was a hard one. You all killed it per usual. Woo. 
All right, that is it. Happy Wednesday. Good job. You did amazing. Bye. Bye. Bye, good job.